Hello everyone and welcome to Whiskey Wars. Today we have two eight-year-old Islas to review today on the channel. So we have the Porter Skeg eight-year-old against the Ardbeg eight-year-old. Now the Porter Skeg is part of a core range, the Ardbeg is not, it's part of the committee release. But this is available like I bought it on just general sale. I don't know for how much longer this one will be available for, but I do think it will be available for at least the next year. Colour wise, two very different colours. The Arbeg coming off a little bit more of a generic whisky colour with that sort of golden straw like colour. The Porter Skeg with a really interesting colour I find. It's almost a water colour, so it's almost see through, but it just has this greeny, light green with a touch of yellow um, hue to it. And it does remind me of something a little bit herbal in the glass. It's, it's a nice change. The Porter Skeg is natural colour, non-chill filtered. Uh, nothing on the Ardbeg. Um, however, all the Ardbegs I've had before are non-chill filtered. I don't know about natural colour. I don't think it is, but I do think it's probably non-chill filtered. The Porter Skeg is bottled at 45.8% ABV with the Arbeg 5% higher at 50.8% ABV. So we'll start off with the Port Skeg first. Very sweet on the nose. Of course, when I, I just want to start this review off by saying, when I say very sweet on the nose, it's still peaty. It still has a touch of salt to this whiskey. It's just that for a peated Isla, I, I think it's quite sweet. So I just want to get that across. I don't want anyone that doesn't like peat or only likes really sweet whiskies to go for this based on what I just said. Context, context. But yeah, incredibly sweet. For me, I get, there's quite a citrus kick to this uh, whiskey, but it is sweet, it is soft, but it's still pungent on the nose. I really enjoy that. Extremely medicinal for me. Band-Aids, rubbing plasters, TCP, but very sweet. I get a hard candy, almost a lime hard candy, a lime boiled sweet, and a little bit of menthol and eucalyptus on that nose. Something just entering that herbal realm as well. I've got to say, I really like this whiskey on the nose, and I think it's a little bit underrated. It needs to get a lot more hype for Porter's Gate. Okay, onto the art bag. Far more earthier, straight away. A lot more earth wet logs, rotting vegetation, think fallen leaves in the autumn, in the mud, stagnant pools of water, salty, earthy, more tobacco heavy for sure, ashier, so and, and also saltier and woodier. So for me on the nose at least, very very different, very different eyelids. Yeah. So for the nose comparisons, the Porter Skeg is going to be sweeter, softer, way more medicinal and also herbal. And maybe a touch more citrus as well. The Ardbeg, more of a generic, intense Isla Peat. Woodier, saltier, but earthier. A lot more earth characteristics. So tobacco, something rotting as well, uh, decomposing vegetation and more ash as well, chimney soot. Normally I pick up uh, some herbal characteristics on the Ardbeg because I'm comparing it to the Porter Skeg where for me um, that's a little bit more dominant than medicinal quality and the herbal quality. I'm not picking it up on the Ardbeg but normally I do so I just want to say that but in comparison those notes are far stronger on the Porter Skeg. Just before we get onto the taste if you're enjoying the video so far please do leave a like on the video down below but most importantly if you haven't already please do click that subscribe button. Let's get straight onto the taste. Actually a lot more wood coming through on the taste for the Porter Skeg. Maybe a touch of like a white pepper and a ginger zing, giving it a little bit of a lift. But for me, number one's gonna be medicinal. 
it's just very, very medicinal for me. Um, a little bit herbal as well, citrusy, but sweet and soft with a little bit of a zing from uh, ginger and wood spice. <laughs> really nice. Okay, onto the Arbeg. Okay, I think it's fair to say that Arbeg has more complexity and it's just elevated on the taste. Boiled vegetables, given a touch of sulphur to the whiskey. However, I'm also picking up a little bit more herbal quality uh, on the taste than I did on the nose. Still not as much as the Porter's Gag, but it is present. Boiled vegetables, yeah. A little bit of licorice as well. Little bit of eucalyptus. I do get that earthiness um, on the taste. I don't get that on the Porter's Gag, so it's certainly more salty and earthy whiskey. I get a little bit of a salted barbecued meat, that wood char. But again, that wood is not giving you a wood spice with the Arbeg. It's almost giving you um, a little bit of like a, a wet log uh, wood note. The Porter's Gag certainly gave a little bit more, I'd say, wood spice. Lovely sweetness on that Arbeg though. Uh, for me, that's a darker fruit note, but still tart. So I, I'm going to put it down as a blackberry. It's a really nice whiskey, that Arbeg. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. Just before I give my final thoughts and which one do I think is better, I'll quickly touch on the price. So both these whiskies are actually roughly the same price. I do think the Porter's Gag is a little bit cheaper, which does make sense. The Porter's Gag is around £45 in the UK. The Arbeg 8-year is a little bit higher, around that 50 to 55 pound mark. So a little bit more for the Arbeg, but not much more. And you are getting 5% more in ABV. You're also getting a more complex whiskey. Um, but two very, very different whiskies that are gonna suit different sorts of people. Which one do I prefer? Well, here's the thing. The Port Skag, for me, is the more unique of the two whiskies. I have other whiskies that give me a little bit more of what this whiskey is giving me. Porter's Gag, I don't really have many that give me those sorts of notes, especially that strong sense of medicinal quality. Having said that, I prefer the Arbeg. Even though I love the Porter's Gag, I love it. So just in case you're wondering guys, I've reviewed both these two whiskies in separate wars against the Lagavulin 8 year. Do check those videos out if you're interested in that. I really enjoy both of these whiskies, really do. For me though, yeah, the, the Arbeg's hard to look past. That extra 5% ABV, it's more complex. And uh, even though I love the medicinal nature of this whiskey and I love its uniqueness, and it's still one of my favorite whiskies, I do think the Arbeg is just that little bit better. So the Arbeg wins today. Do let me know in the comments down below, guys, though, if you agree or disagree with that. Have you had the Porter's Gag? Have you had the Arbeg? If so, which did you prefer? And did I miss out on any notes as well? Do let me know in the comments down below because I do enjoy reading them. Uh, reading your experiences with the whiskies that I review. And so finally, guys, if you enjoyed the video please do drop a like on the video and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and also that share button that'd be really helpful so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all for the next whiskey one